Hello and welcome to my Unturned Arena Let's Play series. In this series I'm going to be playing on different Unturned Arena servers. If you don't know what Unturned is, I will be giving a brief intro introduction and I will also leave a link in the description for the Steam page. It should be said that Unturned is free to play and it can be played on Linux, Mac OS and Windows. So for a brief introduction of Unturned, Unturned is a zombie survival game with cartoon textures, so it's not like those very scary zombie games that you might have heard of or are used to. It's made to be fun and entertaining, and in my opinion, it is. When you play, you first select the map that you want to play on. There are a bunch of maps available, and there are also a lot of maps available in the Steam Workshop. Also, there are a lot of mods in the Steam Workshop as well. When surviving, you have to gather food and water to keep yourself healthy. You also have to gather medical supplies in case you get hit by a zombie. You also need special medicine to cure your toxicity, which rises every time you get hit by a zombie. When you are out looting, you can find clothes that will grant you more inventory space, vehicles that you can use for transportation, guns and other weapons to fight the zombies. You will also find food, water and medical supplies. I think that pretty much wraps up Unturned, said in a very quick way. <laughs> Again, for more details, you might want to look at the store page or maybe search for a video that explains Unturned in more details. Now, you can also find a bunch of different Unturned servers. For example, you could find a vanilla survival server where it's normal survival, like I just explained before, except here you can actually fight other players and raid their bases etc. You could also find a vanilla server without PvP, so it's only the zombies you'd have to worry about. You can still build bases etc, but it's only the zombies that you can harm, quote unquote. <laughs> you might also find a modded survival server with a bunch of mods installed. So it's normal survival, but with extra mods and maybe even a map from the Steam Workshop or the server owners might have made their own map to fit the need of their server. You can also find roleplay servers. On a roleplay server you set a role for yourself and try as much as possible to react and do stuff as if it is as if it was the real world. Some roleplay servers are more strict than others when it comes to how much you have to stay in role. And then finally there are the arena servers. Arena servers are servers where when you join you get put into a waiting room if you will, where you wait till the match that is in progress finishes. When that match that started before you logged on finishes, the next match will start where you then will spawn at a random place on the arena map, where you then will have to gather medical supplies, weapons, ammo and gun attachments. And then you basically have to try and kill everyone else that are on the map and be the last man standing. The last man standing wins. Though you should note that the guns, ammo, etc. doesn't spawn where it would normally spawn in a normal survival world. Arena servers uses arena maps where the loot spawns in a different way and in different locations. For example, you might be able to find a pile with guns, ammo and attachments in the middle of a road. And you should also note that there are no zombies enabled, so it's only the players that you will have to worry about. Normally in an unturned survival world there are many kinds of transportation like cars and stuff like that, but on arena servers if there are any transportation methods it's usually just one car. Just an extra thing to keep in mind. It should also be noted that arena maps has a border that slowly closes in on a random spot on the map. If you get behind the border that closes in you will start to take damage. This makes it so that the players get forced to get closer and closer to each other. Otherwise, one match could really, really take a long time to finish. Also, some servers have plugins installed which allows them to have, for example, kits. Kits are where you get a bunch of stuff already before the match starts. So what you would usually get, for example, would be some guns, medical supplies, etc. before the match starts. So you don't really have to go look around the map for loot. Also, some servers are creative arena servers, where you can make your own kits and while in-game you can give yourself extra stuff in the middle of a battle. For example, maybe you just ran out of medical supplies and you're in the middle of a battle and you need more, then you can just give yourself more. Alright, I think that wraps up my introduction. If you have any questions, be free, be, be, feel free to um, to ask me down in the comments and 
now let's actually get into some um yeah some unturned arena server gameplay okay so the server that we are going to be playing on today is the panda hut 11 arena maps cycling economy server <laughs> you can just search panda hut and i'm pretty sure all of their servers will appear um they are not i have to say they're not my favorite because they don't have that many kids i only th i think they only have one but it's definitely not like the worst when it comes to lag and stuff for me in a way um so if we do slash kids to see the kids yeah they are only the starter kit but i suppose it's better than nothing um so as you can see i just got some medical supplies and um i got a hat or a a um a tunic and i got an axe and a knife i'm going to keep the knife and well i have to wait for um the map to that is in progress finishes if i press m you can see the white this is the border and the yellow is where the white is going to cover and this is the safe area for now then it will shrink every time um it reaches the edge here so this is the kind of annoying thing when playing arena servers you have to wait a long time especially for when you're recording it um because then you have to wait every single time that um that you die but i will now be waiting and we'll get right into a game i don't have that much time today so i don't know how long this episode will be maybe it will only be 15 minutes or 13 minutes or maybe it will become 20 i'm not sure but we'll have to see anyways i'll be right back once the match starts uh, starts also it should be noted that some servers do not have third person um, view enabled um I know some people mainly fight with like third oh, that's my inventory with um third person but i don't i use first person so i don't really care that much so with all that said now i'm going to be waiting until the map ends you can see the white border right there actually at the trees and by the way this is the area that you spawn in it's a little very little house it has two floors but that's pretty much it all right now i will be right back when this game starts <laughs> all right so gladiator won the round and yes it should also be noted that you can team i think if you're in the same group so if i had a ha if i had a friend in my group then we could team and then you could actually um win the game together it should be noted that you do have your skills and i just realized that i well have a lot of xp so i should probably use them um i use them on these because then because in the game you have um you have uh what's it called stamina and you want to be as efficient as possible when it comes to that it's the yellow bar down there and yeah now we are on the map and also there are airdrops um if the server has it enabled now we have to be quiet because someone might be here um and if there are anyone here we want to um we want to basically be as stealthy as we can so we can maybe surprise attack them in the back ah here's one of the gun spots i was talking about good Finally, and military drums. These are really, really good. I'll just do that. I'll take these as well. I'll take the dressing. That's better than just a bandage. Um, I need a backpack, really. Um, here we go, a backpack. Do we have anything else? Uh, we have a chev chevron, chevron scope. <laughs> Some of these names are very hard to pronounce for me, anyway. Um, I think that's it for the farm. Um, how did I miss these? Uh, I'm going to take the saber tooth because it's kind of a long ranged weapon. I'm going to equip the handle and the scope as, um, as it makes the weapon better. Okay, that's just a pull, it's not a player. Um, 
let's get on over to this farm. Oh, oh, that changes. That changes things. Um, okay, we want to get up on this hill over here because people, when they are um, airdrops, they usually go for them. And a good idea is then to go ahead and try to snipe them when they try to get it. Um, so that one landed in the middle of the field. I would really, really want that stuff that's in there because it's usually really good weapons like sniper rifles and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I think if we take a look at the map, we are in the safe circle. I don't know if anyone else are going to be here. Um, well, all we can do really is wait. So I must say that my patience is very low. I could risk it, run over there, take the stuff and then go back here. Problem is there might be someone else hiding over there. Um, but I don't think so. And they should be over there but they don't really have a clear view. Then someone should have a sniper rifle over here. and. Um, Oh, I think I just saw someone. Didn't I? I think someone is in the water. I think someone is in the water, I think. Just one second. Move my microphone a little bit closer to my mouth. There we go. Um, I think someone was just in the water. But I'm not 100% sure. I'm keeping an eye on the beach and on the crate as well. Mm. I think if anyone was in the water, they would have come out now um, and I would have seen it. I think it might just be my eyes um, playing with me. Should I go get it? Uh. I think there is clear. You know what? Let's let's risk it. Let's risk it. Um, what I will do when I get over there, it's hard to see others in this um, hay. So what I will do is do this, and let's take a look. Um, yes, I want that. I want that too. I want that too. Give me that. And oh, they're shooting very close. Okay, I think I got what I wanted. Um, so let's now get up on this hill and sort out our loot. Alright, we're back on the hill, but some shooting is going on in that direction. So I really want to try to stay as hidden as possible. Is there a bush anywhere? Right on top here. That's good. Um, makes, makes it harder for people to see me anyway. Okay, so I definitely want... Um, so I'll take this scope off. And then I will replace that gun with this one because it is automatic and I find it way better. And then I will also equip this as it's kind of a sniper rifle thing. So I'll equip that as well. And then I want to equip this and then equip this suppressor. Okay. So I know there are some people in that direction because I heard the shots. Um, also, I think I want one of the big military drums in. Um, again, this is not a tutorial for Unturned. So if you want really to know how to do all these stuff like reloading and stuff like that, I suggest you go look up a video for that. I might explain a few things here and there, but just so you don't expect expect a full out tutorial or anything like that. Let's move over here. Um, someone might see the airdrop and run towards it and hope that something is still down there. Um, we have a town over here and a car. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, that might happen sometimes, but um, oh, sniper, sniper rifle. Because I get um, jump scared when um, When there are like um, some shots going on. Oh, it's a team. It's a team of people. 
though this gun doesn't have the range to get them so I'll just quickly equip this I think they might be heading towards me but they have to move soon yeah, wow ow yeah they see me run I need to get the jump on them yeek I need to get the jump on them how can I do that ow who's that Oh, over there, over there. He has a maple strike. He has a maple strike. Oh, man. He was wearing a ghillie suit, which makes him really hard to spot. And the recoil on this... Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. The recoil on this weapon is really, really difficult to aim with. Um, just quickly equip this. Oh man. Oh, there's a guy over there. There's a guy. Yeah, I died. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Alright, um... I don't know in what place did we come? We came in... Fourth place, I think. And the next map is already starting. Let's just do kit starter. To... Oh. I have to wait 12 minutes. Great. Um, yeah, just great. Um... Yeah, I will then have to, um, yeah, just to live with what I can get. Um, I am spawning with XP, so I'll just quickly go ahead and equip that so I can um, run faster. Close it. Uh, <laughs> I'm hiding in a washing machine. Uh, let's do this get as much of these up as possible and increase accuracy I need that a lot and do one of these there we go okay oh. I'm actually stuck I'm stuck well that's great That makes for good content. Sitting in a washing machine. Man, that's annoying. I hate when glitches like that happens. Oh, I'm out, I'm out. Good, good. Oh man, um, let's equip that at a number three so I can get it. I heard a, I heard a car. I heard a car. Pretty sure I heard a car. Um, yeah. Oh, hello. Hello. Um. Ah, he has a gun. He has a gun. <laughs> he has a gun. Run, run for it. Um, I don't have any weapons at all. Oh no, he's still he's still coming. I need to swing around and maybe get to his car. And then just drive off. Oh no. A second person. Uh. Um. Ow. Okay. This is... You know what? Let's go right over here. Yep. Grab that. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... Where are we supposed to go again? <laughs> Let's go to... Um, well, we're pretty safe for now. More shooting that way too. I'm pretty much... Um, boxed in. You know what? Just drive. In situations like this... Just drive. Um, oh no. Yeah. He had a sniper rifle, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he had a grizzly. He shot me in the head. Wonderful. All right, I'll be. Um, you know what? I think we will take one last, um, one last match, and then I will have to call it an episode. So I'll be right back once the next map starts, or the, when the ma next match starts. All right, stay tuned. Alright, so the next match is 
just about to begin. Now, sadly, I cannot equip my starter kit because I have to wait one minute. But I should be able to do it once I'm in game. But I really just want to really quickly do these before I get into the actual game. Uh, yeah, do that, something like that. Yep, mm hmm. There we go. Okay. Um, I can do it while in game just to get some um, medical supplies. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Maple Strike and a Viper. Not bad, not bad. Let's get that. Let's get the Alice pack as well. So we can have some more inventory space. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's get the vertical grip. Why not? Um, ah, we have the horizontal grip as well. I actually don't know which is best. But, um, well, I'll take it. Oh, grassy. Um, I'll just, I think, hit starter. Uh, I must wait zero minutes. I guess it's on an interval or something. Okay, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> um, where are we at? Okay, so we have to go to Chalot to town. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Um, yeah. Um, is there any ways we have Montague on the, on the way? You know what? Let's just go and hope that we won't die as the 11th person. Um, so yeah. Let us hit over there and see if there's anyone over there. I think you can get access to other kits as well. Um, but I'm not 100% sure how it works. I should most likely um, take a look at it. Anyways, I spawned here last time and I'm guessing that someone might have spawned here as well. And are now in the buildings and looting. And I saw the air trouble there. Um, hello? Hello? Is anyone home? I'm just gonna grab these real quick. Um, and the saber tooth. And run. Actually, take that, then run. <laughs> uh, we have this Viper sidearm. Oh, what happened there? Um, which is pretty useful for, you know, if we run out of ammo in this one and we don't have time to reload, then we should maybe be able to just um, switch right on over to the next one. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's home in this town. Oh, I hear shooting. Let's find out what it is. It came from up here. Um, let's see. I see them. Problem is I don't have a scope. I don't have a scope. I'm not hitting anything. Um, this weapon's range isn't like a sniper rifle's range, and I can't hit him from here because of, because of bullet drop. But maybe he didn't hear it, or maybe he didn't realize it was against him. Um, yeah. Just have to. Be careful that no one sneaks up on me, because that would be pretty sad times. I don't know where he is. I think he might have left, or maybe he's circling around. Let's push, just a little bit. Oh, he might have gotten the um the airdrop. Hmm, that might be it. Let's get uh, let's get up on wait. Okay, let's get up on this hill right here and see if he's there. Um, I'll switch it to auto real quick. He's right down there. I see him. Should I take him? If I can, I think I can. I got him, I got him, I got him. Phew, I got them. Good. 
Let's see if they had anything. A good strategy might be to like lay down because then it might look like that you um that you died there as well. And then people might not realize that you're still alive. Um Okay, that was actually some pretty good stuff. I want that instead of the Viper because it has it has some um, built-in suppressor. So that was pretty good actually. I also got a whoop where did that come from? Right over here. From the um from the, at the airdrop. At the airdrop. Let's get a sniper rifle sight on here. And that. And then quickly equip this because I think someone might be coming. Reload. And then equip that. Okay, let's go. Oh. Didn't see anything? I got them, I got them. I got them. Is anyone else coming? Okay, two kills so far. Um, so far, so good. <laughs> Let's equip these, put that at three. Let's get that and that. Yeah, he definitely was at the airdrop with this, I think, anyway. Saber tooth, uh, get that, get that, get that, that and that, and who's over here? I heard shots this way. Oh, that was a sniper shot. I don't know if it was towards me or not, but, um, yeah. Okay, where does that, where is that coming from? I think it's coming from over there, and now there's shots over here. I think that might be in the town. Um, you know what, I'll just activate this. Um, yeah. I don't know where anyone is, to be honest. I see someone down there. I think they have saw, uh, I think they have seen me. I should equip my this one. And have a look. Yeah. Someone's definitely down there. Come on. Peek out. I can see your gun, buddy. You're not very sneaky. Uh, oh, that was a hit shot. That was a hit shot. Ooh, that was a hit shot. Um, he might be hiding, though. I think he's hiding now. What scope is this? I think it's an eight, eight time scope. Oh, the supply drop landed there. Hmm. I didn't know they did that. Is he still in the fire station? I think he might be. Uh, just want to make sure that we're still in the circle and that no one's coming in from behind. Uh, let's see. I hear some sniping going up. Oh, I don't think I can. I think I'm too far away. Whoa, that landed. That landed. He definitely has a sniper. Eek. That landed very close to me. I just gave myself away. <laughs> that was bad. Um, he's over there. can't get him because I don't have the range and if I get closer it will be easier for him to um, to aim at me ow oh that was a bullseye <laughs> ouch don't hurt my feelings Ooh, we're in the top three we're in the top three that's not too bad not too bad at all I'm happy that we're in the top three because I don't always do very good in this game, <laughs> so um, it looks like someone's there, but I think it's just the trees. I don't know where he went, I lost sight of him. Mm. I'm also very in the open here, I don't have any cover whatsoever. You know what, I'll just equip this in case someone comes in from behind, because the wall is closing in. 
I'm not seeing any ones whatsoever. We're still in the safe area. So that's good. Um, but I don't see anyone else. I know there's a guy like over there. But where is the second guy? I'm most likely going to be sniped because it's hard fighting against a sniper. But I also know if you get up close, it's very difficult for a sniper to hit you. So it has its advantages and its disadvantages. Now he has to move. He has to move. Um, the reason why I keep moving is for someone not to get a lock on me if they have a sniper. So that's why I'm like jumping and moving around a lot. Oh, the safe circle is down there. And I have to move. Okay. We're gonna get into some close combat here. Whoa, where did that come from? Where did that come from? Where did that come from? Oh, I have to move. I have to move. Gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. Someone definitely sniped me. Whoa, 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 oh, over there. Ah, I died. <laughs> GG. Well, GG. Let's see who wins. Who wins the um the fight in this very tight area? We came third, so that's that's actually not that bad. I think we did good for our first episode here. Um, yeah. So let's see who um who wins. And while we are doing that, um, okay, I cannot pronounce that. But anyways, I will quit now because otherwise I'm going to be put into the next um the next match. So. With all this said, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, remember to leave a like, comment and share it with your friends, and if you are new to the channel, remember to subscribe. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Also, it should be noted that I won't be playing on the same server in every single episode. I have a few that, I've, that I really like, and I will also be trying new ones and stuff like that, so there will be coming some variation in it. Just wanted to say. Anyways, have a nice day. Bye-bye.